Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Saturday. A beautiful, beautiful morning out here. As many of you know, I paid a little surprise visit to Roy earlier this morning. I got to sit outside with him this morning and take in our sunrise. That was really fun. We did a live feed from Solaris. He was surprised to see me so early. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Some big clouds out there in the Gulf. There's a person out there swimming, enjoying the water. Quite a few people up in Area 1 in the water swimming. Beautiful out here. There's somebody out there walking along the sandbar. You can see it's not very deep out there. That water's just about at her knees. So as you can see, people aren't afraid to go in the water here. Just use some common sense when you go in the water. Make sure you shower off when you get out of the water. Don't go in the water with any open wounds. We know what can happen there. Roy's a good example of what happens if you go in this water with any open wounds. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Pelicans out there just bobbing up and down on these little waves. Relatively flat again this morning out here. This is going to be a very short little beach walk. But I did want to come out and share the beauty with you. Share the beauty of this Saturday morning. There's a beautiful great blue heron up here on the beach. I don't want to startle him. I see a guy running down the beach. I know he's going to scare the bird away. He's just plowing through the birds here. Hopefully you can see this heron here before he flies away. Maybe the jogger will go around. Beautiful bird. That bird's a good three foot tall right there. Just keeping an eye on everything. A beautiful great blue heron. Beautiful. He's still there just looking at me. See if I can zoom in on him a little bit. Absolutely magnificent. Magnificent bird right there. When he stands up straight, stretches his neck up, he's probably close to four foot tall. Absolutely amazing bird, the blue herons, the great blue heron. Just keeping an eye on things here. It's a great look at him, him or her. Very majestic, very majestic bird. The great blue heron. It's almost as exciting as seeing a dolphin. What a great look, though. Get back. Come on, get out of the selfie mode here. Sorry, folks. screen is not 
responding to me. There it goes. Every once in a while that happens, the screen just kind of locks up. I don't know why. Then you get stuck looking at me. <laughs> Sorry about that. What a beautiful, beautiful sight. I'm going to try and snap off a photo. Bear with me for a minute here. That. I'm back here. The water is absolutely gorgeous out here. Nice and clear. I'm trying to walk slowly here. I don't want to make any sudden movements to startle this bird. He wades out into the water. Absolutely beautiful. A great blue heron. We've seen several of these now out here. Yep. Just took a little drink. What a gorgeous bird. Oh darn it, he took off. Took, I was taking a couple of photos and he took off on us. We got a nice look. Good look at that heron. Beautiful. Look at this water though. Look how clear it is. Beautiful. Tons of little bait fish swimming around here again this morning. But apparently this is, people are saying this is fake news right here. The water really isn't clear and nice here. Somehow I'm manipulating this image. This water is apparently deadly and toxic. I sure hope those people swimming out here realize that. <laughs> We've been very fortunate here the past week. We've been having a nice little offshore breeze, so it's been keeping the red tide away from us here. As beautiful as it is here, let's please, let's not forget our friends up in the Carolinas. Everyone in that path of Hurricane Florence, what's left of Hurricane Florence. Please don't forget them. Please keep them in your prayers. Hurricanes are awful. Although they just last for a few days, it takes years to clean up after them. I know that for a fact. We're still cleaning up here after, from Hurricane Irma, which hit us over a year ago. Just, just about a year ago, actually. Isn't it beautiful, those clouds? Those puffy white clouds out there, the blue water. I'm sure it's kind of late for shelling. There's been quite a few people already walking up and down on the beach. We might stumble across something though. Let's see here. Here looks like a pear whelk maybe down here. Son of a gun. I didn't think I'd find anything out here this morning. Lo and behold. Here's a nice, a nice little pear whelk. Just as I was saying, I probably wouldn't find anything interesting. I stumbled across a little pear whelk. It's missing a little bit of the tip, the bottom down here. Well, there's a pear whelk. A great little find for a Saturday morning beach walk. The pear whelk looks similar to a lightning whelk, except the opening is on the opposite side of a lightning whelk. And the pear whelk is a lot smoother. It's got a few chips in it. I'm going to keep it. The pear whelk. It's 
see some fighting conks buried in the sand along here. Good morning, how are you? So nice to see people out here enjoying the beach again. A couple of weeks ago, this place was deserted. Labor Day weekend, the place was deserted. Normally, you can't find parking here on holiday weekends, but because of that red tide, it was terrible. But now things are getting back to normal. Finally, the birds have returned, the dolphins, the fish. I love it out here, I love it. Just a beautiful Saturday morning. I'm gonna snap off a photo. Hey, there's a great event happening here right now as I speak. It's beach cleanup day here. Lots of volunteers showing up to clean up the beach. It's so sad how people leave trash out here. and It's heartbreaking sometimes to see the messes people leave behind. Hey, here's a beautiful feather on the beach. Beautiful feather. I think that's from a gull. Maybe from a gull. Not a tern. That's not a tern feather. Pretty sure that's from a gull. If you collect feathers, you can find some nice feathers out here, especially early in the morning. I found some really nice osprey feathers out here. more than just seashells. Shells are the highlight, but there's lots of other things besides seashells to collect here. Fossils, there's fossils all over here. I'm happy I found one shell. <laughs> That was a, quite a surprise, actually. It was kind of buried in the sand. I think that's why I found that pear whelk this morning. Like nobody else saw it. The tide is on its way out here. But hey, if you want to join in the party here, come up and join us for beach cleanup day. Come on down. They started down and they started at area five, the north end of the park, and they're, everybody's making their way down south here. With their trash bags. Thank you everybody that's helping out here. I can see, oh, probably one, two, three, four, five. Half a dozen volunteers right here. Several more up to the north. It's wonderful to see people who care about our environment, who care about our beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. What an absolutely, absolutely beautiful morning here. Three more volunteers over there. Thanks guys. No, just Facebook. <laughs> They were thinking they were excited they might be on the news. <laughs> Lots of pile of little piles of shells here. But again, it looks like they've been kind of picked through already this morning. But one never knows. There's always something you miss when you're shelling. Yesterday, Scott, our friend Scott, he came back and walked back here. 
both of us walked up and down the beach here and on his way back he found a huge moon shell a huge moon shell he was so excited he said he was gonna throw it at me to make me mad but we both walked by it and then he found it on the return trip so it's amazing What an absolutely glorious, beautiful morning. I got my day off to a good start today. I had a nice little chat with Roy during sunrise. Be sure to watch that. I kind of surprised them, snuck up on them this morning. Here's an olive shell down here. missing the tip there these are cool for putting on a chain or you know making a necklace out of when they have that hole like that the olive shell again a very very low tide here very low tide and it's still going out but look at the water Look at how beautiful it is here. No red tide here, folks. A couple of seagulls sitting here in front of me, walking around. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful as we look up to the north. Try and get the camera level. I can't see the screen whatsoever here. It's totally gone dark on me. Beautiful clouds. But Scott found that Yesterday, Scott found that big moon shell right up in here on top of the sandbar. I can't believe I missed it. There's all kinds of stuff up here. A lot of broken shells. I see a lot of broken whelk shells, broken conch shells, broken moon shells. Here's something cool. I'll show you a quick little comparison. Two shells here. Two of the same, different sizes. Two fighting conch shells. A little baby fighting conch on the right. A bigger fighting conch on the left. See how they change colors as they mature? They start out very light. Two fighting conchs, Florida fighting conchs. Beautiful shells. Just before you take anything home, make sure they're empty. Make sure there's no living animals inside. That's a great little baby fighting conch right there. It's a nice little scallop shell down here. Beautiful little scallop. Anything else is up here as I make my way around. Piece of an old lightning whelk down here. Piece of an old lightning whelk shell. Remember that pear whelk I picked up earlier? That had the opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelk here. This is a lightning whelk. couple little turns screeching away up here a 
letting us know they're out here. What a gorgeous morning. I think my battery's going dead in the gimbal here. It keeps drooping. Yeah, sometimes I take being able to come out here for granted. A lot of people do, actually. People that live here. There's people that live here and don't even come out to the beach. It's hard to believe. But when I go visit Roy, I think about how he would give his right arm now to be out here with us. Morning. A great, great visit with Roy this morning. Be sure to watch that video. He was so happy to see me this morning. And he's open to seeing anybody. Anybody that wants to pay him a visit, please feel free to stop by. Send him a card too if you can't come by. He loves getting those cards. The love that's pouring out to Roy is just the best therapy he can ever, ever get. Lots of volunteers out here cleaning the beach up each cleanup day. Thank you to all the people that showed up out here. It's still time to come out and volunteer. Hey, Susan. I guess you get a t-shirt if you come out and volunteer. There's a nice little perk. Hey, guys. All different ages out here helping out. So come on out and get yourself a t-shirt. Grab a trash bag and help clean up the beach. There's a whole group of volunteers up here. A big group making their way north. Oh, wow. There must be 20 people, 20 volunteers up here. They're all along the beach up here. What a great sign. Lots of shells up here too this morning. Again this morning. Lots and lots of volunteers. So good to see people that care about our environment and the future of our environment. See if I can zoom in. Can you see all the volunteers there? Everybody in the white t-shirts? Mostly all young people too all the way up along the beach there. Awesome. The 
each cleanup day. A big thank you to all those people helping clean up our beach. Hey, a great event happening this afternoon at Felipe's up in North Naples, Felipe's Taqueria, Mexican restaurant. Check it out, I shared the post. Fiesta Day, an all day celebration. Starts at three o'clock, they're going, they close the parking lot down. They put up a stage and tents, music from three different bands, great mariachi band, Unity Latin. The deplorables are gonna be there. A great afternoon, food, fun, drinks, of course, lots of tequila. <laughs> I'm gonna be up there filming, so stop by and say hi. Check out the event, check out the little video. Come on up and pay us a visit at Nonstop Naples. We'll be up there with the tent. Come say hi to Belfair. Absolutely beautiful morning here in North Naples. My little piece of paradise. It's so calm out there. I'd love to see a dolphin swim by. I've not seen anyone. I've been out. They've been out here. They've been spotted. Just not while I'm doing my live feeds. Darn it. They're camera shy. We've seen, I have seen several of them swimming by over the past, oh, seven days. But not in the past couple days. Look at that beautiful water. The water, the clouds. Picture perfect out here. I'm not going to go any further north here. I'm going to turn around and head back. It's kind of a con condensed beach walk this morning, but I did want to share this beautiful morning with you. I know a lot of you enjoy starting your mornings out here with me. I really appreciate that. And as most of you know, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. As much as I love doing it, I got bills to pay just like everybody else. Morning. So if anybody wants to help out, make a little contribution that always, always appreciated. Every little bit helps out, helps pay the phone bill. Summers are always slow here in Southwest Florida as far as business goes, so now it's time to start playing catch up here. The work will start rolling in probably another month. Got a few little projects on the books, little video production projects, but nothing really substantial. So if you want to help out, I appreciate it. It's not mandatory. I know times are tough for everybody. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Look at that, the horizon almost blends in with the water out there, the gulf and the sky, they almost are blended together. Almost the same color out there this morning. It's beautiful though.
in area four. Everybody, you should recognize this area by now. Roy's pine trees over here. Audrey's bench is up under those pines right there. I don't know if you can see that little green umbrella. That's our friend Susan, who we saw yesterday. She brought Roy that awesome little gift. She brought Roy the beach. Check that video out. That was so sweet of her, so thoughtful. Roy got a big kick out of it too. So check that video out if you didn't watch it already. Roy was in a really good mood yesterday afternoon. Look at that water. Just incredible. Absolutely gorgeous. A little snowy egret and a little sandpiper over here. I think that's called a willet. The smaller of the two birds. It's just amazing how this beach has turned around in the past couple weeks. It was, uh, it was horrible out here a few weeks ago with the red tide. Yeah, it's just spectacular. Couldn't ask for a more beautiful morning. Well, I could ask for it, probably wouldn't get it. <laughs> That's me, that's me taking pictures here. Those interruptions, I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna take my pictures when I'm out here. Look at this water. Well, yesterday morning, did you see all those fish towards the end of yesterday morning's beach walk? Just incredible, all the jacks that were, I think, pretty sure they were amberjack, just a huge school of amberjack came swimming by. Absolutely incredible. It's like an endless line of fish swimming by. They almost swam right between my legs. slowly make my way back to where we started here. Those clouds are so beautiful out there this morning. Between the water and the clouds, pelican sitting up here with a couple turns and a couple seagulls right at the end of the sandbar. I'm sure it will fly away as I get closer.
one lone pelican sitting there. It's so neat when you're walking along here, the birds just, sometimes they fly just, you know, a couple feet above your head when they fly by, sometimes even closer. Here goes the pelican, just into a little deeper water, keeping his distance, I guess. Oh, he just looks like he's got a fish over there. Huh. Again, it's beach cleanup day here. A lot of volunteers helping out. We've seen, oh, several dozen, more than that, several dozen volunteers walking up and down the beach with trash bags. So nice to see people caring. They're doing a really good job taking their time. Thank you. A lot of nice people out here. <laughs> you talk to them. You know what, guys? You're a smoker. Bring a, bring a plastic bag and put them in it and take it out of the beach. Yeah, cigarette butts. Yeah. Uh, is, is that where you're going along picking up? A lot of up? cigarette butts and a lot of um, tops to the plastic bottles. Oh, really? Just screw them back on, guys. People don't realize, you know? No, it's amazing. I mean, smokers are notorious for just... Licking their butts. I smoke and I bring a bag with me. Well, there you time. go. If you can do it, so can everybody else. I'm going to start bringing bags and handing them out to smokers. <laughs> there you go. Good idea. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good day. You too. Thank you for helping out. Oh, no worries. <laughs> was, there's quite a few people here showed up. I mean. Yeah, Vanderbilt's really crowded too. Vanderbilt's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, it's so good to see people caring. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm picking up some fish bones too. Oh, yeah. There's still some fish bones. They hurt my feet. Yeah. <laughs> That can lead to problems. Yeah, exactly. Yep. All right. All right have, have a good day. Yep. Have a wonderful day. So there you go. Remember, smokers, bring a little bag to throw your cigarette butts in. Don't litter the beach with cigarette butts. Some good advice. And a lot of people just do that subconsciously. A lot of things here, like the, she said, the plastic, you know, holders for cans and things like that, and the plastic tops from bottles. A lot of that actually washes up on shore here. People, you know, it blows off people's boats and it winds up on shore here. So when you're out on a boat, try to keep your trash contained as best you can. I know accidents happen. Nobody's perfect. Plastic is a terrible thing. It just never goes away. Gorgeous out there.
I was talking to one of our park rangers this morning and we were talking about the tragedies of the red tide and how we had so many dead fish out here on the beach. But it was kind of interesting when you came out here, you would see a species of fish. One morning we'd have catfish, one morning we'd have snook, one morning we'd have batfish, one morning it'd be pufferfish. I mean, it's like the red tide just struck in, in the, at the different levels in the Gulf. I mean, and it went all the way down to the bottom. I mean, we had a couple of days where there were just, I'd say probably millions of little baby, dead baby sand dollars washed up on the beach. So that red tide affected everything from the top to the bottom. Sad, sad, sad. What a glorious morning. I wish Roy was out here to enjoy this with me. Beautiful Saturday morning. You know what's funny is when I walk along the beach, I hear people call out my name. <laughs> I don't know who these people are, but apparently they've seen some of my videos. It's so neat. I mean, like we're one big happy beach family here. That's something I always like to stress too when you when you're watching these videos, please, please introduce yourself to the little group here. Let everybody know where you're watching from. It's amazing how diverse our audience is. I mean, what's, what's amazing are the cards that are coming to Roy, that are being sent to Roy. They're coming from all around the world. I mean, he just, <laughs> he's in high heaven seeing all these cards from people he really doesn't know. He really doesn't, he's not on Facebook. Roy's not on Facebook. He just gets to see what I share with him. He understands the concept now that we're live and people can watch from anywhere in the world. But he doesn't realize how many friends he ha really has. And these cards are almost overwhelming him. I mean, sometimes it brings a, a little tear to his eye when he gets them. He's just amazed at how many wonderful people out there care about him. So please keep those cards coming. And anybody that wants to come by and visit Roy, please, please come by and visit. We love, the more people that are out there, it's not only to lift Roy's spirits, but we also like to just have someone there to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's getting the attention that he deserves. They're doing a really good job with him, but every once in a while, a little something will slip through the cracks. So we kind of, it's nice to have somebody there to advocate for him. I can only be there so many times. Good morning. I can only be there for, you know, so many hours a day, and Karen, and our good friend Mike, Fisherman Mike, comes down and visits, and Astrid, Astrid's out of town right now. So everybody else has their own little agenda, their lives that they have to manage, so please, see if you can fit a visit into Roy into your schedule. It's highly appreciated. It's like the first, well, one of the waves of the cleanup crew is down here. Not the first wave, they're all the way down. I, th I guess this is, I don't know if this is a statewide event, a countywide event. For some reason, I did not stay up on beach cleanup day. I knew it was coming and it just kind of crept up on me. If you got time, head down to your local beach and join in the cleanup. There is something out here in the water. Looks like fish. Thought it might have been a dolphin. A big school of fish right out here. 
jumping around, feeding. The boat out there going by. There's people swimming and there's fish just jumping a few feet away from them out here. Amazing. I hear an osprey up in the tree somewhere. Let's see if we can spot him. He's behind me. Trying to get in the shade where the sun's not right in my eyes there. I heard him up in one of these trees here. I just don't know where. I don't see him right offhand. Sometimes they can really camouflage themselves up there. I don't see him. I heard him. Couple volunteers right there cleaning up. I heard him chirping in this tree right here. But I don't see him. Darn it. I don't see him up there. I wish he'd call out again. Oh well, I'll give you a, hey, good morning. How are you? Great. So many nice people out here. This is where I started this morning. Again, a short beach walk, but we already had a nice little chat with Roy this morning. Be sure to check that out. That was just a wonderful, wonderful start to our day visiting with Roy. Look at those big clouds, isn't that something? Just beautiful. Here, two little volunteers. Isn't that special? Look at that. That is so sweet. The beach cleanup is a family deal this morning. That is so sweet of them. Come out and spend their Saturday morning cleaning up the beach. Couldn't ask for a nicer gesture. I'm going to sign off here in a minute. I want to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. Be sure to watch the video of Roy this morning. Again, remember, no way pays me to be out here. If you want to make a little contribution, thank you so much. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're going to find something you like here. When you do, hit the like and share button. I think there's still time before you come down and join the beach cleanup operation. We've had a tremendous amount of volunteers show up. I heard there was a lot of people showed up at Vanderbilt Beach this morning. Thank you to everyone that participated in that. Well, have a wonderful Saturday, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan.
God bless.